Oh, you can just about see the pike is done. So. We'll just build the two triangles of block work here, either side, and that'll give us our pattern to follow. <laughs> Sand is partially frozen, so we've asked the customer to boil the kettle because it is warm enough to lay now. Anyone who's seen my Instagram today or yesterday will see. He's back. <laughs> uh, new year, new start. New van. Anyway, we're not here to just look at the van. We're back at the uh, extension job. Sand is partially frozen, so we've asked the customer to boil the kettle because it is warm enough to lay now. It's getting over 10 o'clock now, so. We stayed home this morning, no point coming in too early. We've all had a brew. Neil's been and gone with Louis. And they've got the roof all set out. So that's their, that's their pattern spa. Everything follows that, including our brickwork. So we now have a fixed point for the top, a fixed point for the wall plate, which obviously is mirrored on both sides. So we're going to use a push of button. Nailing up the centre of the extension, nailing at the top at the height corresponding to that end, down onto the profile, down onto the profile. That's our line to follow then, which should be probably about 10 mil down off the top of that. I've got plenty to play with there with the depth of that. And then once that's up, Neil really wants the block work up, so we're going to we've got to really push on to get this done. Because there's not a lot to do, but obviously it's up under. We've got to go up on the trestles. We've got to get that so high. Swap over onto the scaffold on the inside and get the get the rest off that. So a lot of messing around with not much actual doing stuff. Oh, there you go. Customer just give me the kettle. So I've got a steamy mixer because we've got a kettle in there. That just gets us going. Nice and warm. Oh yeah, there you go. We're all set up, ready to go. I might just lift the profiles up a couple of courses and make sure we get the top of the pike off them. I'll just have a quick butty. And um, yeah, this isn't cold for Alex. He's just come back from minus 16, so <laughs> he should be in his t-shirt. So yeah, as I said, Neil's got a sorting now, so we need to push on now, to, otherwise we're holding Neil up. It would be ideal to come back Thursday because the weather's better. It's just warm enough today but Thursday's a bit better, but we, we can't make we can wait another two days. They're, they're waiting to go now, as you can see. All the gears here. One of the wall plates is on, and the spar's ready, so they're ready to crack on. And obviously, he can't crack on until he's got the spar. Sorry. And obviously, they can't carry on until they've got a ridge in, so we need to get, get it ready for the ridge, even if it means leaving it down and piecing up after, as long as it keeps Neil working. And we can come back and just patch up then. So yeah, um, Alex's going to get a mix in, and I'm going to um, get the tools out and get set up. Catch you in a bit. Right, hello. Been a while since I've done this. Um, so, mix has started, but it's not a Stephen Alex job unless we forget something. <laughs> we, uh, we were that concerned about if we had enough sand, we forgot to uh, put the cement in the van. So, <laughs> Dad's going to go pick up two from Fairwoods now. That should be enough to get this done. And if not, and if we have to come back another day, we've got one. We've got the cement at home. And once Dad's arrived, I can get that mix in properly. For now, I'm going to help him get the rest of these holes drilled out. I've got to go up one course because 
if we go on that side, we're gonna wreck, if we go to that, that course, sorry, we're gonna uh, wreck the cavity tray. I'm sure Dad's mentioned this, but if not, there you go. And I'll tell you this, when I was over in Sweden, it was minus 16 at most. And it was not as cold as it is here right now. And we're, and we're in the a, a plus degrees here. Bloody hell, so that gives you perspective. England is uh, miserably cold. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll uh, get this done while I'm waiting for Dad's and then I'll get the rest of that mix in. Well, there's your little update. We'll see you once Dad's back with the cement. Right, getting on for 10 to 12. Still nothing done. Well, nothing up there done, but still plenty done in the background. I had to nip off and get cement and put a bit of fuel in the van. Alex has drilled out the holes for the profiles. As you can see, we've lifted them right up now. So they're going to well clear the pike. We've got the big button there, roof button. That's having a piece, that's having this screw put in at 3 metres 440, which is the top of the spar on top of the ridge on the house there. So we're just transferring that point across to here. We're going to measure up off the wall plate at that end. Uh, that end for the um, the upright of the spar and then we're going to put a line down set, set it up here up to the nail back down to there and that'll give us our pattern to follow <laughs> and that means we can get this brickwork up as quick as we can while the sun's on it and it's warm so that's as quick as we can well as high as we can um, it's going to be in our way because we've got to drop on the inside, but we'll just have to work around it. But uh, yeah, we've got we've got um, probably got about eight courses to get on this side. We'll see how we get on. We might be able to just get the last few off a off a put a couple of the trestles up of our little hop ups up, maybe just to get the top bit because it's only a few bricks. But um, yeah, the first thing we want to be doing is getting the block work up while it's overhand and it's a full width scaffold. See, I'm, I'm making this up as I go along here. Yeah. We've got to get the block work up first, as high as we can. Then we do the free, then we do the face work and insulate it as we go. Then as soon as we're up as high as we can, we're going to drop all this. That can go home then, and we're going to jump on the scaffold on the inside and work from the inside, because by then we'll, it'll be. Hang on. By then, we're going to come in a bit and come in a bit, so we'll be all right then for width on the inside, because they're, they're only they're not a lot narrow those towers. I'll just snip the toilet, I'm going to get this pattern set up, screwed to the wall, I've marked the plumb line up and everything, and then we can set the line up. So um, I'll actually put you on time up from down here. Um, I'll find somewhere anyway. So. <laughs> this while the news is on. So there you go, we've got a, a grabber down there, one there, and one up there with a packer behind it just so the timber doesn't lean against the wall. There's our, I'll probably zoom in on the edit, put the screws there. Now, sorry Prince, I'm going to have to stop that. There we go, we're on. So you can't see from this side because the screw's on the other side, so it's probably about 900 up off the block work there. So profiles are set up for building two. Now we're just going to set the line up from this side up to the top and down again. And that's our pattern to follow then. And there's a nice, nice aeroplane, someone heading off to the States, because that's America that way. So you have all the planes coming over that way. And they come over that way in the morning, coming home. Anyway, yeah, I like aeroplanes. So, I'm going to get the line set up, and then we'll get some more truck and get cracking. Try and get a few blocks down before we have some dinner. Try and get something done. Because we need to make the most of this temperature rise now. So, um, let's get this up and get cracking.
ready for a battery. We're going to have a quick dinner now. It's probably about one o'clock now. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, quarter past one. There we go. Pike's pretty much finished. There's a ridge going in the centre there. So we're going to leave that centre out. Leave it all the way down there. And just build the two triangles of block work here, either side. And then whatever height that um, the ridge sits at, we can bed something underneath for Neil, or unless he wants to pack it up on timber or whatever. So um, basically we can finish the last little bit after dinner and then get, get this face work up quick. The good news is we'll be able to finish it off off here. We're not messing around moving the scaffold and everything, so that's brilliant. So if Neil can, well, it's, it's, it's too wet for him to put the ridge on, but theoretically the ridge could go on and he could get out of the way. But yeah, so we've got the block work to follow with our brickwork now because it's um, it's having, same as that. I don't think it's even having the fascia board on it. I think it's just having the, the roof buttons fly through and then the dry ridge gets nailed on the end. So you just have the dry ridge, nice tidy end on it without the fascia. I think it's just fascias along the, on the, the sides. I think Neil said he did that one about 15 years ago. So we didn't work on that. You can tell by the brickwork. But anyway, let's go and get some dinner. Uh, yeah, we should have till at least half four now because it's the 9th of January so it's over two weeks since the shortest day <laughs> it'll give us half a chance but once we're sorted they'll be both, we'll both be up there anyway so that'll go up a lot quicker um, so yeah um, let's go and get some dinner see you after dinner
You can just about see pike is done. So that means the brickwork and the blockwork part of the extension is finished. Done. Donezo. Finito. So let's just get that drink up now and um, it's finished but it's not quite the end of the video. We've got some Yeah. All right. If you heard that, if if, um, if the maths right, I think it was exactly a month ago that we started. That's like, that's not bad. That considering the weather we've had and the and the breaks in between. Yeah. But yeah. So obviously we can't finish just yet. Like, the, all the brickwork and blockwork's done. Here's the blockwork side. That's left out. What, what's this, what's it called, Dad? That Neil's putting in that gap. Uh, what gap? Uh, that you've left in the blockwork. Oh, the ridge. Ridge. Yeah. There you go. So that's for the ridge. I didn't know, sorry. That's for the ridge, then Neil will patch the rest of that up uh, with any space that's left. And so we've got to just tidy up, move all this stuff around, and uh, get the. Oh my god, I can't even see that. Get the cavity closers. So we'll get all that on footage. We'll change these, fla fix these flags, get them, those flags. I think we're going to cut them and then lay them again because they've all dipped a bit and then we'll uh, get this, all that stone laid out so once it's all finished and looking pretty then it'll be the end of the video so we'll see you when we're doing that